super quick video today following on from last week's in-depth look at flight logs and how they can help you work out what went wrong with a particular flight or worse or better still uh, help you find a drone that's crashed far away doesn't matter whether you're using the uh, mini 2 air 2s or mavic 3 or whatever make or model sometimes things go wrong and it can be incredibly useful to find out what happened so you can take steps to make sure it doesn't happen again and that is where checking your flight logs and replaying the flight can come in so handy especially if those logs have been automatically uh, uploaded for you and synced for you so that you can take a look right away on your phone or back inside on, on the big screen. So look, a lot of you getting in touch, commenting how you'd already been using AirData, uh, airdata.com and how useful you find it. So it was quite a nice little bonus this week for me as AirData themselves have got in touch with me uh, liked last week's video and have now offered a discount for anyone to get 20% off any of their HD360 plans. Now look, one of the main points I made last week was how most of the more useful functions on the Air Data site are actually available for free. As long as you can cope with the odd advert, you get all the data, the notifications, the listings, and the full high def animated playback of your flight uh, on, on the free plan. For me, though, personally, I've always paid the thirty pounds, uh, thirty dollars rather, a year for the light plan, as that gave me uh, in-flight uh, weather and wind, which uh, most of you know I love mucking about with, throwing various models up into the storms. But look, the light plan for me is brilliant because it lets you see what the weather and especially the wind was doing during your flight. It lets you see how the wind was behaving and how it increases with your altitude, which I always think is. Um, very surprising at just how stronger the wind is up there. So in truth, for hobbyists flying one or two models, I personally think the light plan or the next one up, the gold plan, are probably the best ones, to be honest. Gold plan will automatically collate information on your various models and gives you a whole new section on uh, drone and equipment management for your little fleet, along with um, some really useful screens uh, detailing things like uh, how the batteries are all being used. So for me, the gold plan, I think, for a hobbyist would be more than enough. But for those commercial flyers out there, then you've also got the pro or the enterprise plans, and they may well be more useful for logging multiple pilots and even managing uh, flying trends of the different pilots and the models being flown, as well as a fair few specialized functions. But look, I will post a link below for the various plans, as I said, for individuals, hobbyists, then the free version, the light or the gold plans are almost certainly going to do you absolutely fine and will give you a wealth of information and you will learn truckloads from looking back. So look, um, even better now, using the little discount code of Ian in London 20, you will get 20% off your first payment, which means you will get the best deal and the biggest discount if you pay for an annual plan. So um, that's it. I said I'll put the link below. Um, I do love it when companies listen to us and help us out. I've actually been using Air Data for around three years, I think, and I'm pretty chuffed that they've now actually been in touch with me and offered this discount for anyone watching uh, this video of mine. So again, I think it shows a really good uh, approach uh, for, from a, uh, a company that does exist pretty much to help uh, drone flyers like ourselves out. So look, that's it. Very, very quick uh, video. Um, I'll put a link to last week's video up there somewhere. Uh, have a watch and see why I think it's so useful. But look, uh, lots on it ever, so very short, quick one today. Um, keep letting me know what is happening and what you're finding useful. Keep an ear and an eye out and let me know if you hear more stuff on the Mini 3. I do wonder whether or not DJI's first uh, media frenzy of 2022 is slowly starting to make a start. Anyway, um, I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but either way, can't wait. It's all good fun, isn't it? So look, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, until next time, have fun, stay safe and sane, happy flying.